Hello, everyone. Welcome. We are the team UST Sir. Today, I would like to introduce our program of big data analytics, closest matching based on machine learning algorithms. First, let me introduce our project. Many websites are available for online shopping, such as eBay, Amazon, and Taobao. In these websites, apparel and accessories industry occupy the market by the vast majority of the share. Our goal is to match clothes, like find appropriate shirts and shoes for a pant, or recommend several shirts with similar style based on clothing collocation from fashion experts, and recommend them to customers. The commercial potential of our project is obvious because closest matching is a very important topic in shopping guide. The result of closest matching can be applied to recommendation and advertisement, creating a win-to-win -win situation, which could both help customers quickly find the closest they are looking for and potentially increase company sales. Now, let's take a quick look of our systems. The system contains three parts. First, we extracted the data and the pictures from Ali data with some data preprocessing algorithms. This part was done by Ming Chen Xu using Spark and MATLAB. Next, we constructed a convolutional neural network and applied some machine learning algorithms to do classification and matching. This part was done by Yao Chiu using TensorFlow and Scikit-Learn. At last, we built up a user interface with some visualization algorithms. This part was done by Yi Haoli with WX Python. So three of us contributed evenly to our project, and it seems that we were a really good team, right? Next, let me introduce our algorithm. Step 1. Classification. Our training data contains 499,983 images in 281 categories. So we constructed a convolutional neural network to do classification jobs. The convolutional neural network has a flowchart like this. We can see it has three convolutional layers and two fully connected layers with some basic parameters like this. And eventually, this model got an accuracy of 82.5. So after training the model, we also wrote a prediction function and predict the test categories. We save them into a CVS file. So after predicting the category, we came to the second step, find the most similar example. In this step, we create a bag of words according to the keywords of the training and test samples. Then we embedded those training and test samples into vectors. Each vector had the same dimension, which was equal to the numbers of words in the bag. By vectorizing, it enabled us to calculate the distance between them. And we assumed that the training sample, which was most similar to our test sample, had the least distance between the vectors accordingly. To calculate this similarity, we applied k-nearest neighborhood algorithm and simply set k equals to 1. Now we can see that the prediction is very much alike to our test sample. At last, we quoted from the data collocation to show the images of the matchings. That's all for the algorithm part. Now let me introduce our user interface. We built the user interface in order to visualize our close matching results. 
and it was rolled in WX Python. This is the user interface. We can enter an item ID here, so we just pick one. Let's type 1417. Click here to load the image. This is our test sample. And get the category. Category 33. Show the similar item. And see the matching items. So our algorithm provides the pants and the bag to match the sweater. Let's try another one. Yeah, we can type 2227 here. Click here to load the image and get the category. See the similar item and see the matching items. So our algorithm provides the coat and the boots to match the jumper. Let's try another one. Let's type 3967. Load the image. Get the category. Get the similar item. So they are similar in the style, I think. And see the matching items. The matching items are the shoes, the bag, the coat, and the pants to match the sweater and I really think they are a good match. And I will stop now and um, welcome everyone to play with our user interface. That's all for our user interface part. In the end, we would like to express our gratefulness to Professor Ling and all the TAs of this course. We really learned a lot and did a funny project in this semester. So again, thank you and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye.